Sonia Friedman, um, <laughs> one of the producers. <laughs> received at the time. Lonnie Price said that, who starred in the original <laughs> As we know, it was very short, and in an interview following the closing, Sondheim choked up, and he said he was so sad that he'd let everybody down in that first production. Well, Mr. Sondheim, Merrily was a work of art then, and, yes. it, and it's sure is now. Alchemy and brilliance and moral genius of this group to bring it to the surface, led by the most perceptive and extraordinary of people, someone who understands the human condition lost grief, joy, and what it means to be alive in, in an uncanny way. And I should know, because I've been her younger sister <laughs> all my life. <laughs> <laughs> but before I hand over to Maria, I just want to say on behalf of me and my great, beautiful friend David Babani, and on behalf of all of my partners, a few thank yous. They took hundreds and thousands of people to create this work, this work of utter perfection. Yes. <laughs> There must have been 40 or 50 of us all work, who all worked on the production. Thank you to all of you back there. We love you. Yes. Deeply. Deeply. Yeah. Maria, Maria will talk about the writers and the creative team, but thank you, Tim Jackson, who's been with us from the very beginning. Jeffrey <laughs> Kruger. I don't know what to say about the cast, but I'll come on to you in a minute. The musicians, Joel, Alvin, the entire musical department. The associates, Ryan, stage management. You're amazing wherever you are. Where, where's Janay? Where, where are you? Come here! I know I'm going to miss out people because I've got lots more to say. General management, thank you. Adam, Britt, David, you've been extraordinary. Marketing team, most of you are back there. Press, Ben Simpson, you don't know who he is, but he's a genius. Um, we all know who he is, and everybody who works with him is very, very lucky. John King, and um, all, all of the Hudson staff. Um, <laughs> years ago at Central School of Speech and Drama and then at David's Theatre Menu, Chocolate Factory. Um, we then moved to the West End, Huntington, Jim Nicola, Patricia, New York Theatre Workshop, thank you. Patrick Cotillo, thank you. And um, Jeff Romney. Where are you, Jeff? Thank you. Jeff, Stephen, sometimes husband, who encouraged us 14 years ago to come here to New York, took this amount of time and 
and Rick Pappas. Where are you, Rick? We love you. We've been on the journey for 40 years. And of course, all our brilliant co-producers and investors who keep Broadway going. Um, it's not everybody, it's not personal. Okay, as I said to Jonathan Groff, <laughs> what did I say? Merrily is beyond theater. Merrily is beyond theater. It's a reflection of life, relationships, passage of time, leaving a lasting impact on all of us who experience it. You, the audience can sense the love and the authenticity and passion poured into this production. Merrily, above all, is about friendship. We see the strength of the character's bond and the heartbreak as it weakens. This theme resonates with anyone who has cherished friendships and have changed or faded over time. It's why it connects us all, and so that's why we all need to say a particular thank you to Daniel Radcliffe. excited to see Dan. It was the last thing he did before he passed away. Daniel, your commitment propelled us forward. And not long after, Jonathan joined and Lindsay. group of actors who were with us at New York Theatre Workshop and all of them came with us well, to New York. Well. <laughs> you, made, you made Maria's dream, my dream, a reality. This, this production was built from love and understanding and just what true friendship means, and led with such beautiful care and love and friendship by their most remarkable, gifted, generous, kind. I can't tell you how amazing they are. I think you can see it. That yeah. is all Woo! real. Yeah. <laughs> it's all real. They have, they have led this production it ever and I don't think I ever will again. I'm really done. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible to imagine that this is the end. Frank says and the loss is unbearable. So let's just think about it as the beginning of the next chapter in this extraordinary historic production. Yes. <laughs> the top of the podium alongside a small handful of others as a rare and treasured masterpiece. A work that literally changes people. And I think I can say with some certainty and a bit of mystery <laughs> that we'll be seeing and experiencing this masterwork with this incredible group of performers and musicians again. <laughs> but maybe in a different form. <laughs> Maria, I want you to now speak. I just want to say one thing, because I never get the opportunity to do this. I never go to... Maria, 
Oh, Mum. <laughs> no, our mum and our brother are so proud of you. They love you so much. They were with us at the beginning and they're not with us now. Was it a draw? 
father's school, and I have absolutely never done directing before, and my husband, I said, I'm not going to do that. He said, no, do it, do it. Um, my husband, Adrian, and I said, well, what should I do? He said, well, do merrily. You were in it, I was in it, and if you don't know what to do, when you come home in the evening, we can chat about it over dinner. <laughs> and I walked into that room, and I knew what to do, instantly, because I'd spent 30 years working with Stephen, working in a room with him directing, the detail that that man works with, the precision. But above all, I want you to take this with you for everything you ever see that he did. He was dismayed and heartbroken, often with tears rolling down his face saying, why doesn't anybody understand? All I do is write love songs. <laughs> and that's what he does. Yeah. So, this show is full of love, this cast is full of love because George and Steve were brimming to the top with love and humanity. So I will leave this with saying a line that I keep on saying because it pops out. Um, as as Char uh, Frank says, in fact, Frank and Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Musicals are popular. <laughs> <laughs> They're a great way to express. State. <laughs> <laughs> They're a great way to state important ideas, ideas that can really make a difference. Charlie, meaning everyone here and up here, we can change the world. Yeah. yeah.